had your seat up here. That's kind of nice where you can just sit here. I sat here while this was updating. The storage. Extra seat. They put even little holes there for drainage. Then we always turn this on. Like this. There you go. You don't want to untwist that all the way out. You'll play a hard time getting that back in. Force down pump works. That there is for the fish box. Live well, you got to have the switch up front. And he has this rig for downriggers, which is kind of cool. I can test that, make sure they wire them. Well, maybe I can't. No, I can't do it on this one. This is the downrigger plug. Okay, good drainage here. Comes all the way back off your floor into these drains, which will drain into your bilge. Fill it up with kerosene. Now there's here nor there on that. A lot of people say you can run the diesel, but the kerosene it burns uh, a little cleaner. You don't have that big heavy diesel smell. And if it sits for a while, it lasts longer before it goes bad. Battery charger there. Your plug-ins there. You got courtesy lights back there. Your primer bulbs there. When that switch is like that, you don't have to use that macerator switch for this. You just have this and it goes in the bilge and you can have your uh, bilge pump pump it out. You got two bilge pumps back there that are auto. And I got to get in here anyway because I got to pump the prime bulb, insulated fish box right there. Uh, oh yeah, you got to have this. So it goes up through there and down there and it spools down. This is what I'm saying about the switch. It don't work and that's bent a little bit. And grab a handle here, sleeper seats here. A uh, nice high back uh, with the uh, your backs that recline on you, folding armrest, uh, plug for your trolling motor up there, battery under there. You got a wireless remote. I think for this the bow mount. Plus you got this big one back here, and then it says accept on your autopilot. I'll just hit accept, but I got a. It says close. So when I turn this stuff on, it should light up everything. I hope. Live weld, this switch has got to be on, and then that one for that live weld to work. Courtesy light. I don't think you can see it. There you go. That's the cab lights. Courtesy lights, this light back here. I think you only got one. Yeah, one right there. Entry. VHF, ICOM. He had the NEMA 2000 to, so he could get latitude and longitude. You can look in the window over there. That's that light. These here go for the back. I'll shut that one off. You got this one. You got this one. Nine inch uh, Simrad Evo 3. <sighs> nice unit. Okay, so then. Oh, we want to turn those off. Boom, boom. And then horn works, wiper works, build pump works. Nav lights work, compass uh, 270, 270, 250. That's about right. Let's see if it's gonna hit my, yeah, I knew it. You needed to actually take that and move that back of here. You want to keep away from the motors, of course, because of the GPS. So that, because your hand's gonna hit that. So that compass should be moved. You got trim tabs, key switch. Turn that on. You got almost three quarters of a tank of gas, swivel seats. So now I've got the diesel heater. It's got this new fangled one, so I'm gonna to have to play around with that and see, see how to get that fired up. See, no instructions for me, just figure it out. You can do it, just figure it out. All right, this is the Bow Doctor out.